Welcome back guys and today we are going to talk about serum albumin, the importance of serum albumin in our body and what is the function of serum albumin in major. Can you imagine all the time that uh, our heart is placed somewhere here and all those blood vessels are distributed all around our body from the toe of our leg to the top of our head. So all this region, the blood vessels are kind of spread everywhere. They are sometimes uh, thicker, they are sometimes thinner, they have a large uh, region to blood flow, they have very tiny region to blood flow in all these cases. And blood is a liquid molecule, you all know that, it's liquid. So it is transferring from one place to another place and everything is going on inside. But can you imagine that is all those, whatever blood is distributed from the head and distributed to the leg, is they, can they carry same amount of pressure? or they varied in pressure. So why not we are getting more blood to the, to the regions nearer heart, less blood in the legs and all these regions. That's the important and very interesting question guys. I don't know whether you have uh, think about that question or not. But this is a very interesting question to ask because you know it's just like a kind of tap water. So if you have a tap water, open the, open the tap and you have, you have connected it with the pipe. And that pipe is pretty long. And if you have a small hole somewhere near to the pipe, the water will come out. And if you have a larger hole, if you have a hole uh, somewhere larger, in, I mean in long distance of the pipe, the water may not come out at the same amount that is coming out from that nearer hole. So that is the question of mine. It's similar thing happens with our human body. How come we get same amount of blood pressure, same amount of not actually same amount of blood pressure, but same amount of blood fluid in all those cells to maintain the osmotic pressure of our body constant. And that is actually very important task and that is made with this protein serum albumin. There comes the importance of serum albumin. And there comes the role of serum albumin. That's why serum albumin is the most abundant, most abundant protein in our human body and that might be a question for many competitive exams which is the most abundant protein the example the answer is serum albumin they might ask you and they might tell you that the protein keratin a serum albumin collagen and, and something else people might think keratin or collagen because it's, 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 in, it's in our nail it's in our nail it's in our hair and all these things but the actual thing here is it is present in serum albumin. So serum albumin is the most abundant protein of our body. It consists almost 50% of the total protein content of our body because it is making the blood what it's all about. Right? So serum albumin here, why it is important? Because of that important task I've told you that is to maintain to maintain oncotic pressure. Oncotic pressure. Oncotic pressure means the pressure to assure that the blood will flow or the body fluid will flow everywhere in our body in the same amount. So equal distribution of bloody fluids or body fluids to all the cells of our body. That's called the oncotic pressure. This is a type of osmotic pressure, a type of osmotic pressure, right? Now what this osmotic pressure is ensuring the cells is that it will drive the water, it will drive the body fluid, it will drive the body fluid, say water, plasma, whatever, to all the cells of our body, right, by changing the osmotic balance of our blood, right. So if we look at here, what we can find is that actually about the osmosis, what we know is that uh, the water will migrate from the low solute to the high solute region. So solute, right? So low solute to high solute region. Water will move. That's the theory of osmosis. Now the idea here is, normally what happens, if there is a presence of serum albumin, let's say serum albumin is present here. So lot of lot of albumin is present here. Let's say this is albumin and the, about the structural thing about albumin, it's a globular protein and it's pretty large also. So it's a large globular protein, no fibrous, it's a large globular protein. Now most of the soluble proteins are kind of globular, that's another thing. So serum albumin present here, somewhere here. As a result, the solute concentration is high 
to make it low to make it a balanced condition the water will flow from here to the place where it is filled with serum albumin and that's the task of serum albumin to ensure to maintain this osmotic this osmotic balance in our body and that's maintained by serum albumin right so that's kind of it the function of serum albumin and why it is important because it is required for maintaining this oncotic pressure or it's a kind of osmotic pressure in our blood otherwise blood vessels will rupture and horrible thing happens right so very important protein so if you like the video please subscribe and watch more videos about the physiologically convenient proteins they are going to be placed uh, right uh, in this side i believe about the related videos so watch them and learn so thank you another uh, very important thing I, I forgot to mention about serum albumin is that uh, it is made from it is made up by the liver cells majorly because liver is a producer of many important proteins of our body including serum albumin but the important thing is that serum albumin is also acting as a carrier of hydrophobic molecules or hydrophobic hormones like steroids so it can bind with steroid and helps in transporting steroid from one place to another place and that's very unique thing about it because you know steroid is a hydrophobic nature so it should not be dissolved in the blood and the only reason uh, it can be transported due to some carrier molecules carrier proteins and plasma uh, and you know uh, this uh, serum albumin of plasma is acting as that carrier protein to carry uh, this uh, fatty acid contained proteins or you know fatty acid containing molecules as well as the steroids from one place to another place thank you